Oh, listen, of course future generations will not see this as a debate, but we do not have the ability to time travel, so I'm going to use my, you know, my time here to try to move at least a smidge, you know, a couple of our friends, Chris Broussard and Kevin Wilds, who for them, Michael Jordan is Paul Bunyan. You know, they are, they are in sports parlance, the young child whose dad can always beat up all the other dads. No, you don't remember. You don't know. You weren't there. He was so tough and so big and so strong. And it's like, wait, you're supposed to grow out of that. And it's like, no, he's that. So here's the thing. And here's what is to me so interesting about this debate is this was, Jenna, I believe, the very first topic we ever did on this show, which was five years ago, it, right after LeBron won the title against the Warriors. Since then, since this started to be a debate, LeBron has done the following in the NBA Finals, and we God knows all that counts is the NBA Finals. We can show it to you. Since we started the debate, what has LeBron done? Well, we can show you the numbers, I think. He, he averaged a triple-double in the finals. And then the next year, damn near averaged another triple-double. And 2018, if you remember, was when he had the eight 40-point games, the two buzzer beaters, and the single greatest game anyone has ever played, the 51-8-8 eight eight in game one. And then he won another championship. By the way, those, so those three finals averages come out to around 33 10 and 9 on 55% shooting. Michael Jordan in his final three finals was 31, 5, and 4 on 43% shooting, but he won them all, so nobody cares. So, what I am interested in with Broussard yeah. is this. And be honest with me here, please. Was there ever anything LeBron could do after the Dallas series? Or was the Dallas series such a blemish? Because that's the one argument I'll accept. The one argument I'll accept is that Jordan never had a low like the Dallas series. And so if LeBron had won nine championships in a row, it wouldn't have mattered because he had that failure. Was there anything in your mind LeBron could have done post-Dallas, because we're now a decade removed, to become the greatest player ever? Or was his story written uh, t 10 years ago and everything else has just been a race for second place because that's as high as he can get? No, no. Certainly after Dallas, he could have done some things that would have made me think he was the GOAT. I mean, it, it, he was in Miami for four years, Nick. And I remember I was on SportsCenter on the other network uh, the night that he decided, you know, he was going to Miami. And if you had told me, I was one of the few in the national media who was not killing LeBron. I was supporting him in his decision. If you had told me, oh, the Heat are going to win two of the next four championships with LeBron, D-Wade, and Chris Bosh, I would have been like, what? That's a failure. Two of four? They're winning at least three, if not all four. And they only won two. So had they even at least won three when they had the best roster in the NBA, that would have gone a long way to aid uh, LeBron's argument. And then going forward, winning more championships rather than losing more final series. So, yeah, he could have done something. Now, you brought up the Dallas but meltdown. That is part of the argument. It's not the main thing, but it's part of it. Jordan is one of the few superstars that we've never seen him have that meltdown moment. We even saw Magic have it in the Tragic Johnson series against Boston in 1984, I believe it was. And then, obviously, LeBron had his against Dallas. Jordan lost, but he never melted down. He never was really the reason they lost where you said, wow, what happened to Mike? He just wasn't himself. So that is part of the argument. But here's the thing. that I, I want to answer Jenna's question. I thought I once thought there was a time when LeBron would be viewed as the GOAT. I felt that when the millennials and the Gen, Gen Zers began dominating the discussion, when they were on TV shows like this and radio shows, and they dominated the discussion, 
that it would be, they would say LeBron's the GOAT and it would become accepted wisdom just like today it's accepted wisdom that Jordan's the GOAT. But I no longer believe that because if you look at recent things, ESPN just came out with their rankings of the top 75 players ever. And certainly there are millennials among their experts that were ranking them. They had Jordan 1, LeBron 2. The Athletic, same thing. Millennials in their ranking ranking pool. They had Jordan number 1, LeBron number 2. In October of 2020, ESPN actually polled fans. And, and 66%, Nick, of those 18 to 34-year-olds said Jordan is better than LeBron. And so I think Jordan, Wilds, has reached the point. Jordan is like oh. Babe Ruth or Muhammad Ali, where he is going okay. to be viewed, whether no, you throw out numbers, yeah, like you Paul throw out whatever. Bunyan. Jordan has become so iconic. Yeah, he's be- Well, Mythical. fine, fine, whatever you want to call it. But fine. But Babe Ruth and Muhammad Ali were real. And so was Michael Jordan. And he has reached that status in our society where it's going to take more than even the great LeBron James did for someone to come along and people to say he was better than Jordan. Whether you look at the shoes, the 6-0, and the iconic shot against Utah, whatever you want to look at, Michael Jordan has reached that level. And I think Tom Brady will too, where it's just like, you got to do something astronomical okay. to surpass Michael Jordan but, in people's view. But I want to... I want to just go back to my original question because I don't I, I you answered it but I I don't think you really did because I said post Dallas is there anything LeBron could have done and you said win more championships. So so let's just go through it, okay? So post Dallas, the first year he won the title. The next year he won the right. title. The next year you said they had the best team in basketball. I do not think that year they had the best team in basketball, not with Dwayne Wade in the position he was in. LeBron, in the finals, gave you 28 a game on 58% shooting and 51% from three. Hold on. Just wait a second. And they lost in five. They got blown out of that series. So let's set that one aside, and we can argue about it in a moment. The next no, year how set it was aside. the— It happened. No, no, no. no. I just, just want to go goal. through it. It was an old San Antonio no. team. Tim Duncan wasn't so close to So you think LeBron could have done Tony Parker and so Mountain you think were LeBron hovering on their prime. So you think in 2014, LeBron If we just want to throw out... LeBron went, mm-hmm. Nick, if we just want to throw out numbers, let's talk about Wilt Chamberlain. No. Okay, if we just want to start no. throwing out incredible I'm not numbers, to throw out numbers, we can bring Wilt into the conversation. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to throw out numbers. I'm asking you an honest question. When the, when the Heat lost in five... Three of those losses in blowout fashion, and LeBron, by any objective standard, played very well. You think he could have done more. You think there's a player that you could have inserted. All the other things are the same, that you remove LeBron and put Jordan there. And instead of losing in five, they win the series. I don't think you actually believe that. That's why I wanted to go year by year. Nick, the next year, I, I, they lost. I, Hold on. The, ne- okay. the next year, Brew, he was 36, 13, and 9. And they lost in six when Kyrie and Kevin Love went down. The next year, they won. And then there was the two years they lost 4-0 and 4-1 to Golden State. We showed you the numbers. He's the most talented team ever. So my And the only other healthy year he's had, he won the title since then. So my question is, what's the year that you could have replaced LeBron with Jordan and they win the title post Dallas. Is there a year? Do you believe there's a year? Nick, you're dealing with hypotheticals and theories and fantasies and what ifs. I'm dealing with facts. You're bringing feelings to a fact fight. I'm dealing with the fact that we never saw Michael Jordan lose in the finals. We never even saw him push to seven games. All right. I believe Michael Jordan would have... Oh, now, would he have won all of those finals that LeBron lost? I don't know, but that's... We don't know. We can't... It's like Kobe said. We can't answer some of these things. So let's deal with what we do know. What we do know is that Michael Jordan dominated the league in a way that LeBron hasn't. 
Whether it's individual numbers led the league in scoring 10 years, okay. whether it's defying conventional wisdom. When Lo Jordan came into the league, the view was you could not lead the league in scoring and win championships. Larry Bird never did it. Mm -hmm. Will Chamberlain never did it. Kareem may have done it once. Jordan defied yeah. that. The view was you couldn't build a yeah. dynasty around a two guard. Jordan defied that. I mean, Jordan locked down the entire league when LeBron locked down one conference. That's the difference. Yeah, but that, okay, but so that's where you can't see. So, so here's where I get frustrated because you say I, I'm arguing with feelings, you're arguing with facts. But when presented with facts, you just dismiss them because they don't go along with your feelings. So we got an argument what the other facts? day off the you air. You just asked a about, bunch of questions. Okay, who's. Hey, who's more About clutch in the postseason on game-winning shots? Who's more clutch on game-winning shots, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Who? Who do you trust more to take Jordan. the game-winning shot? Okay, Jordan. but the facts say it's LeBron. The facts say LeBron has a higher percentage on more attempts and more makes. But your feelings say it's something else. You always say he locked down the whole league. But he played 15 hey years and won six titles. So those other nine, somebody LeBron's won. LeBron's played somebody 18 won, but and those won years four. Don't count. I'm going to get serious LeBron's now. Right, but I don't say he locked blasters. down the league. We, I got to interrupt you. But I don't say he locked down the league. We got a whole league. bunch of minutes left didn't. this morning to talk about this. You saw how I took my glasses off. That means I'm getting serious. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First. Or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.